Welcome to Healthy Wealthy Academy. Learn how to be healthy, wealthy, and get happiness with K-O-K-O-S-H-U-N-G-S-A-N. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell for the latest updates. If you like it, please like, share it, and leave comments. Thanks for your support and for helping us make the world a better place. Destroy your anger, controlling the beast within you and be the master of your emotions. Anger is an emotion that usually brings out the worst in everyone and is usually displayed in regrettable ways. However, most people constantly give in to the displays of anger. Instead of taking the trouble to find and address the source of the anger, in the quest to redefine this very negative emotion, get all the info you need here. Chapter 1. Getting to the Source of Anger. Anger can sometimes be treated as simply as any other illness, where several methods are used until one is seen to have some positive effect on the illness. Once found this method is applied and the illness is concurred. This simple philosophy can be applied to finding the source of the anger issue too. Identifying exactly what is making the anger feeling surface and then Working to fix it should be the agenda of the individual intending to tackle his or her anger issues clearly and completely. The basics for the more active role to take when tackling the anger issue, the individual would perhaps look into specific areas that usually ignite the anger. Then taking it a step further, the individual would then try to resolve the issues that Contribute to the circumstances, which ignites the anger at its source. Making sense of this is very important and sometime outside help is necessary in helping the individual sort through the complexities of the issue in order to reach the core element that ignites the anger. Other sources of anger can be detected when there are conflicts, which also surface in many different scenarios such as the conflict of emotions, the conflict being caused by another party that requires the participation of the individual, conflict of resolution and many more kinds. All these would require the patience of the individual in taking the trouble to sort through and resolve as many connecting issues as possible, thereby creating less likelihood of the individual having anger issues over these areas. Chapter 2 Stop your anger effectively. Anger is an emotion that constantly gets people into trouble and more often than not, an outburst of anger causes the individual to do and say things that are rather unpleasant and extreme. Therefore some control should be mastered over the anger emotion to ensure lesser occurrences of such negativity are evident. The following are some tips on how to put control back into the hands of the individual. Trying to stop anger from arising effectively, stopping it, taking a deep breath is the most common recommendation meted out by experts. This not only gives the individual the opportunity to step back and collect his or her thoughts, but it also causes some chemical reactions within the human body that allows the frazzled nerves to be calmed. Drinking water is also another way to calm the nerves and creating a distraction for the mind and body to focus on. Besides it also has a positive cooling effect on the body system. Another tip often given is to not speak when still. In the angry frame of mind, anger usually brings forth really ugly feelings and words, and when said in the heat of the moment, it is often impossible to retract. Therefore exercising some Control and walking away from the temptation to be vocal, would help stop the anger from erupting. Out of control, taking a timeout session would also contribute to stopping the anger. Effectively, the energy derived from exercising or simply taking a walk, will be able to exhaust the individual's anger emotions adequately enough for the individual to be calmer and relaxed. Praying and meditating are also other ways to distract the mind. This style would effectively draw the mind away from the anger, thus effectively stopping it from creating disastrous consequences. Chapter 3. 
Get rid of fear that's causing anger. One of the natural reactions that can cause anger stems from the fear of something. People often react in anger when they are fearful of a particular problem, occurrence, action or basically anything they perceive to be out of their control. However, the good news is that there are ways to overcome the anger issues by dealing with the elements that cause the fear. The following are some tips on how to get rid of the fear that is causing the individual to resort to outbursts of anger. Get rid of it. Frustration in a particular area can eventually lead to the fear factor creeping in and taking over the individual's mind and thoughts. One way of avoiding this would be to address the problem at its root as this will help to stop the frustrations from building and turning into anger. Once this exercise is launched, surprising results can be unfolded, such as the mind. Conjuring imagined problems that are not necessarily detrimental but seem to be so just because of the pressure to produce results, the perceived anti-feelings that the individual may imagine is directed towards themselves, the fear of being unable to come up with suitable solutions, are all problems that can be solved by tackling the issues itself. The belief systems an individual stands by can also cause anxiety, which can eventually lead to fear and this too can be the ideal trigger. That brings out the anger in the individual. Belief systems are usually harder to address as they are usually firmly ingrained in the person's mindset, thus tackling this particular problem may prove to be very exhausting and complicated. However, some effort should be exercised to help the individual understand the impacts and implications the belief system is creating and causing the individual to erupt in anger chapter 4 depression leads to rage recently a lot of research has been able to show that depression can lead to unprovoked anger outbursts and this are not just for isolated cases but is becoming a very common occurrence more people are finding that they're Depressive state is causing them to seek retribution in anger and this is an alarming phase to be in. Examine it well. Clinical depression is often linked to the onset of systems that cause the anger reaction. There is no single solution to be able to effectively combat the problem, however. With a little effort and time taken to understand the causes of the depression may in some cases Provide the relief and solutions that will help to eradicate the underlying problem. The commonly noted reaction is the uncontrolled anger either directed towards oneself or in the form of an outward aggression episode. This type of anger is not healthy and usually dangerous to the individual and to those around as it is always unpredictable and forceful. Almost anything can trigger the anger thus making the situation even more volatile. Some of the treatments that have been successfully used over time in addressing the anger which stems from the depressive state would be treatments such as anger management techniques, rationalization of the anger, treating the source, meditation and even in more extreme cases medications. Learning how to handle the onset of Anger attacks is also something that most individuals seek to master, as by implementing these techniques, it is hoped that some control can be extended in any given situation. Besides the obvious impacts the depression can have on the individual in terms of sudden eruptions of anger, there is also the issue of the individual's health. With all these negative emotions felt, the Chemical imbalance in the body will also affect the general workings of the mind, thus further contribute to the short fuse effect. Chapter 5. Organizing and Simplifying Your Life People, who are highly stung, usually are more susceptible to anger outbursts and this is mainly caused by the inability to have some control over their lives. This control can come in the Form or being more organized and disciplined which most of these individuals fail to practice. Therefore in the effort to have a more controllable and smooth flowing life the individual should start with addressing the smaller and simpler issues. 
The following are some tips and areas to consider in the quest to instill some element of organizing and simplifying into one's life. Organizing. Learning how to look for simpler ways to tackle a particular commitment or exercise is something worth considering. This is because the simpler the process, the easier it is for the individual to execute it and thus keep emotions such as frustrations and anxiety at bay. These emotions are usually the trigger for the anger outbursts, which often contributes to unpleasantness and irrevocable exchanges. Organizing the schedules of the individual and those connected to the individual should also be an exercise that the individual is committed to designing. This will help the individual put everything into perspective and prioritize only when necessary. Therefore everything would become clearer and the individual would not have to stress about getting everything done at once. This also helps the individual to turn down tasks that would prove to be too much or too time consuming. Taking on these tasks without careful consideration might have the negative effects of anger as the individual finds that he or she is no longer able to cope with the commitment. Clutter also contributes to the individual experiencing frustration and anger, as the inability to organize and simplify are evident. Having to cope with unnecessary clutter would cause the individual to become anxious and short-fused, thus exhibiting anger tendencies frequently. Chapter 6. Calm Your Anger with Meditation. Anger is often an emotion that is very volatile and unpredictable. Thus learning to curb it effectively would be a wise effort to master any outbursts of anger does not portray a person in good light, therefore learning to control anger outbursts will definitely be beneficial to the person's character portrayal. The following are some reasons meditation techniques could be used to calm the anger element. Calm. It. Meditation helps the individual to get in touch with the inner self. It helps the individual recognize the anger emotion as destructive at the very primal level and address it accordingly. This recognition and acknowledgement allow the feelings of awareness and acceptance to be explored and for its necessity to be judged. Although meditation is not a cure-all formula, it has been able to help most individuals understand and control the anger emotion adequately. Breathing exercises is part of the meditation experience and such breathing techniques will help the calm the body and create the necessary rebalancing of the chemicals within the body system that was disturbed with the heightened feelings of anger. The body will feel more relaxed and eventually the individual will feel the anger seeping away until it is no longer the focus of the mind. Meditation also helps the individual to refocus the mind on better and more pleasant elements and thoughts, thus effectively giving less attention to the anger. This causes the anger to subside as there are no thoughts or actions fueling the anger anymore. This meditative focus not only helps the individual keep the mind off the anger but also helps the individual replace it with calmer, gentler and more pleasant content, and this allows the individual to return with a refreshed and clear mind, that is now able to cope with the situation better. Chapter 7. Letting Go of Blame Being burdened with negative emotions can be very exhausting and this exhaustion can eventually affect the health of the individual causing further harm to the mind also. Therefore in Addressing all areas of problems the individual should learn the art of letting go and moving on. For betterment of both body and mind. The following are some reasons and ways the individual can. Go about learning to let go of blame and moving on in life. Let go. Perhaps the most important. Exercise to explore is in understanding the situation that leads up to the blame factor being. Present. When this has been correctly identified and accepted as the legitimate cause of the blame, then only can the process of letting go begin. Making mental and physical choices to let go is the first step to seek in this exercise. Learning to master the art of totaling letting go would 
require the strengths and skills of the individual to teach the mind to refocus and concentrate on positive elements such as acceptance, amnesty, absolution and any other positive mindset that force the individual to look at the situation with a renewed and fresh thought process. Choosing to consciously release all resentment and focus instead on the exercise of looking for the positive points in the situation would also be something worth cultivating in the quest to avoid the blame game. There are no positive results that can be seen through keeping resentment and in fact it has been proven that the element of resentment within the human body eventually leads to medical problems too. Instead of looking to blame someone, a more productive exercise would be to look for solutions to the problem. This will engage the mind and body actively, and thus eventually cause the individual to forget to blame anyone and anything for the circumstances. Chapter 8. Communicate clearly to avoid conflict. Oftentimes there are misunderstanding caused by the lack of communication or ineffective communication. Therefore, practicing and developing the skill of communicating clearly and precisely will help all parties avoid any conflict. The following are some reasons as to why communicating clearly is very important and how to do so effectively. Communicate. The most glaring reason why people fail to communicate properly is due to their inability to first listen carefully to what is going on. Without listening, there is very little the individual can contribute that would have substance, solutions and workable scenarios that would help others on the receiving end. Using the correct and corresponding expressive skill is also something that should be learned if the communication exercise is going to be done in a clear and point form manner. This clarity will help others. Understand the fundamentals of what is being communicated, especially if there is a lot of related information being mentioned. Choosing to use decorative language skill is only advised if the listening audience is capable of understanding such usage. Most people do not appreciate the use of words and jargon that they are unable to understand but will usually keep silent and thus not really do as expected further causing the work or project to stall. Therefore keeping to the language style that can be clearly understood would be a better way to ensure what is being communicated is thoroughly understood. Other positive elements that should be included in the effective communication skills would be such as honesty, respectfulness and supportiveness. All these positive elements will help the other parties involved to be totally committed to the tack as they are well aware of the positiveness extended. It would also ensure the working environment would be pleasant and conducive. Chapter 9. Maintain a positive mindset. Keeping a positive mindset is something that will help the individual through trying situations. These situations usually require the individual to be extra cautious and mentally and physically energized, and sometimes this can only be achieved through the positive mindset practice. The following are some ways that can be adopted to ensure the positive mindset is clearly evident and can be called upon. At any given time, be positive. Reading positive and inspiring material is one way of helping to fill the mind with positive thoughts thus effectively creating a reservoir of positive style information to be stored for later use. When a person is filled with positive thoughts, it is only natural for the person to naturally react in a positive manner to anything and everything that comes their way. This is an advantage of constantly feeding one's mind with positive input. Striving to have a healthy body and mind will also allow the individual to create a positive mindset. When the body and mind are well taken care of, the out in the form of reactions and words will also be positive, due to the energy levels that are positively ideal. The chemical balance within the various body systems will allow the individual to have a positive outlook on life, thereby helping the individual to be constantly naturally positive. Good planning also. 
encourages the mind to be relaxed and capable of handling everything with a positive mindset. Often, people tend to overlook this very beneficial trait, thus creating unnecessary chaos in their everyday life. When there is chaos, it would be rather hard to maintain a positive mindset always. Suitable schedules and routines will better benefit and ensure calmer days with positive mindsets, which will eventually spill over to more productive and creative results. Chapter 10. Remove negative associations with NLP. Trying to remove any negative associations is always a good thing. And doing so with some tools that are touted as being effective is even better as it already has. Previous proven result statistics. One of the ways that an individual can explore for removing negative association would be with the use of NLP or otherwise known as neuro linguistic programming. Succeed. Touted to function like taking a pill, the NLP is said to be able to allow the individual to discover how to manage the mind and take charge of the individual's life. This will then effectively prepare the individual to make the dreams and ambitions materialize with greater effectiveness. The basis of the NLP is the actual element of experiencing something so profoundly that it affects the mind and body positively. NLP allow the mind to focus on a particular scenario with the conscious and subconscious mind and to identify the vital factors that causes the dispowerment of beliefs, meaning, values and decisions. While all this is going on, this mind is then taught to identify and draw on the positive elements of increasing self-esteem, clarity and a strong sense of self-worth to address the scenario previously disseminated in the mind's eye. This positive exercise usually helps the individual get on with solving or embracing the perceived problem without the experience of any negative connotations. The NLP has been able to use its particular style of addressing issues effectively and these would include scenarios such as addressing immune system problems with self-healing, pain management through mentally tuning out the pain, stress and psychosomatic illness with using the mind to control the thoughts directed at these occurrences grief, depression, anxiety and other emotional feelings with management of the mind using attitude redefinition and choice. These are just some of the areas and corresponding effects the use of NLP can have if the individual decides to explore this style of dealing with negativity. Wrapping up, you can be a success and achieve positive results. Just Keep some of these tips in mind and you are sure to reach your goals. Hopefully this book has given you the tools to be on your way to success with being anger free. Learn more at uni24x7.com kokoshungsan pays you to have fun. kakashungsan.net